You know, personalized student learning is what we're most passionate about and what we think we can be best in the world at. And so I want to share with you this next video because I think it's a great video that puts a spotlight on one student where we were able to personalize student learning for her. This is Maggie's video. In high school, students dream of being a part of the team, hanging out with friends, and focusing on the future. For Maggie Meyer to dream, she first had to wake up from her nightmare. In the back of your mind, you sit there and you wonder, how, how far can she really go? How much damage has really happened? She became very tired and went to bed unusually early on a Saturday night for a, a teenager. The next day, she was pretty non-responsive when we had woke her up. And my wife and I got pretty, pretty scared and ran her to the hospital. Maggie would spend the next 100 days in the hospital, drifting in and out of a coma. What her future would hold remained unknown. Maggie got sick, and for really an unknown reason, her infection went right to the brain. And so they, they refer to it as a, a mycoplasma encephalitis, which is, is very rare. We still didn't know what kind of recovery she was going to make, if it was going to be a partial recovery or a, a, a full recovery to where she was before she got sick. Eventually, Maggie's rehabilitation would no longer be covered by the Myers insurance. Doctors assured the family that returning to school would be the best thing for Maggie to do. The school district, when we notified them that that was kind of what, the, what our doctor was recommending, they were great. Um, they never said, you know, oh my gosh, we can't do this. They were all over it. I remember coming into a meeting room um, that was just full of Blue Valley Northwest administrators and the staff and the faculty. And I just remember um, when my wife and I walked in, the reception was, was so warm and everybody was there to truly help Maggie. While Maggie had overcome several obstacles prior to returning to Blue Valley Northwest, she was still on a long journey to recovery. When you have a traumatic brain injury, you don't know how long it's gonna take to recover. And you don't know if it's gonna be recovered. When Maggie returned to school, um, she was at a first grade level, and it was not only um, academically, but also emotionally. I had to relearn like social skills and like how to act around other people. I, I had to relearn how to talk and walk and eat and all the simple motor school skills. The staff at Blue Valley Northwest were prepared to overcome the challenges together. The district keeps the traumatic brain injury group updated as to what's going on in the field of brain injury and what the latest techniques are and what's going on and, and I think the dedication to that was really what was productive uh, for Maggie. The team used each other as resources, used um, Steve and Margaret, her parents, as resources along with um, the hospital and the, and the rehab center to say here's, here's the best that we can do for Maggie and here's what we need to do and it was really a lot about personalizing the student learning. We set up an individualized plan for her and by the second year she was getting right big back into where she had been. We could see progress and the progress was for me very remarkable. She's a perfect example of a team of teachers and staff working here to personalize learning for students. While Maggie's journey wasn't easy, with her determination along with the dedication of the Blue Valley staff, Maggie beat the odds and made a full recovery and graduated from Blue Valley Northwest on time. You wouldn't know if you didn't know Maggie um, and you didn't know the story that she'd been through. You wouldn't know by, by seeing her come down the hall, surrounded by her friends, what she had been through three years ago. Through it all, Maggie's experience has helped shape her future. I think she's thinking now of going into special ed because of the great care that she got from the staff here. Um, that's what she wants to be able to give back. And I think that's just a testament to um, the staff who were here and the staff that helped her become the Maggie Meyer she is today. Seeing once I was, I was like that at one point and like um, knowing what they're going through and stuff. I just like enjoy working with special education people and she has a special message that she needs to carry to others to help inspire them. So we're very, very proud of her, that, of her future plans.
Thanks to the expertise and devotion of the Northwest staff, Maggie and her parents can dream of a bright future. But there's no way to thank them enough for everything that, that they did for us. And we will just... I'm always grateful for everything that they did for her. I would say to all the Northwest staff, just like, thank you for everything. You know, you may have seen that story in the national news because it uh, did gather some steam because of the basketball element of that. And uh, what we want to do was kind of show the behind the scenes part of that so that you knew what all was happening and going on as uh, basically Maggie's life was transformed due to your work and your efforts. So once again, thank you so very, very much.